What if I told you Redbox 2 was back? Well, kind of back. But before I talk about that, let's get a little backstory to this. If you don't know what Redbox 2 is, Redbox 2 is essentially a Roblox gore game, which shows off a gore engine inside Roblox, which is, you know, not something you expect to see on Roblox. Redbox 2 was originally a game called Untitled Shooter, but then the developers broke off and they kind of made it their own thing in Redbox. And Redbox has been around for roughly a year now, and it has been the top gore game ever since. You think of Roblox gore, you think of Redbox. That's how popular it was. But roughly around two to three weeks ago, Roblox hit him with the ban hammer and it was brutal it was terrible essentially roblox had a big band wave of the roblox score games because i can only assume of the whole roblox game fund and you know everybody looking at roblox right now and it wasn't just any normal band wave it banned year old games it's wild it banned neighborhood war it banned euphoria blood testing it banned red box and a bunch of other obscure gore games that probably don't really matter that much just let it be known the band wave was big and so here we are two weeks in the future and Redbox 2 is back up, kind of. And I think it's better, instead of just doing a little commentary, I actually just hop into the game and actually show y'all. So let's just do that right now. Actually, quick side note, I just noticed. If you look up Redbox 2 on Roblox, you're going to get a fake game. So I'm going to be putting the actual game in the description down below so you guys can actually support the real developer instead of a stolen copy. All right, let's get started. All right, so here we are on the original Redbox. And as you notice, this game's a little bit, you know, something. Um, this game has five active players compared to like the 500 it used to have. Um, this game really hasn't taken off whatsoever and you'll see why. Okay, so here we are in the game and you know, everything looks relatively the same with Redbox. You had the blood enable, the pools bits, all that good stuff, right? Redbox actually kind of took out all the good stuff and now there's only just blood. Um, if you want to take a look at this, there's no more of the good stuff. There's just a generic Roblox blood engine instead of the actual gore and it's it's pretty sad i'm gonna be honest with you however everything else a part of the game is relatively the same you can you know kidnap people set people on fire i mean just look at him look how much money he's having granted um i don't think that um he's gonna be burnt to a crisp anymore but i mean he's still he's still burning but essentially they just took everything that made Redbox Redbox and um threw it out the window because roblox doesn't allow it and it sucks because i actually really enjoyed Redbox. Redbox, i've said it on many times on my channel Redbox is one of my favorite games on roblox period i mean yes the gore was cool and all but it also had a great social aspect to it too I mean, you could just take random people, you could murder them, kidnap them, and then throw them into this nice pit. Like, who would not want to do that? Into the pit, brother. Oh my, is he, he's God. Okay, hold on. Get in there. Come on. Come on. There you go, buddy. But you can still handcuff people and you can, you know, take them places like it, it, this is a GTA 5 RP admin sit into the pit you go, one, young one. Oh, and, and just like that, they're, they're dead. And if you don't think it's it's just water, um, well, um, it, it, it's a pool of acid. <laughs> look at him, look at him, look at him post it up like that. <laughs> but yeah, essentially the days of Redbox 2 are kind of over. I mean, with the gore being removed and this game being banned, I I mean, there's not really much of a future for this game, in my opinion. I don't know how a developer would go about reviving this type of game because honestly, it's it's the gore that made it good. You know, you can't decapitate people now with the sword. You know, I mean, you can you can make a bloody mess, but every game has blood, even combat warriors. So I really don't understand how the developer is gonna go about this at all because honestly, I think this is just a situation you can't really salvage. But there are other games out there that do have gore in them, and I think I'll go ahead and show you in the video. But this game, just like Redbox, how it used to be, has crazy amounts of gore. I mean, look at this person right here. As you see, I, I kind of, I don't know, uh, split them in half with a Glock. Everything about this is great. And honestly, I'm surprised that this game is like managed to still be up, but the developers are gonna go and keep running this game until inevitably when they get banned or if they get banned who knows um because roblox moderation is um extremely inconsistent they actually are planning to make a untitled shooter 3 which they're working on it uh, currently as we speak and they're trying to fix up the engine and you know kind of remove all the bugs and really improve upon their game that they have here but yeah that's really all i had to say i mean i'm sorry if this video is relatively short today 
I just really wanted to talk about, you know, Redbox being unbanned or reposted um, into its former shell because, you know, Red Redbox is a game I really respect and I really do enjoy. And I really want the best for it. And seeing its lackluster start up, you know, I hope maybe this video could generate some more views for Redbox or at least give some more attention to the subject. Let me know in the comments what you guys think should happen with Redbox too. I mean, really anything could happen with it at this point. I mean, uh, the developer has nothing to lose now. Anyways, guys, I hope to see you guys in the next one and bye bye. Why is there a random person in my private server? I asked this guy, how are you in here? And he says, good. Dog, I didn't ask, how are you? I asked, how are you in here?